All right, guys, here we are with the uh, level nine cap tournament. So this has 1k diamonds as the final reward. It's pretty exciting. I don't know what the rerun is going to be. Um, but if it's less than a thousand diamonds, you can go infinite on this event. So I'm going to be playing this deck again, the Mutant Marauder deck. Um, I might make some adjustments to it throughout the run, like putting militants in. Uh, but we will we'll see how it goes. Establishing battlefield control. So I'm not totally sure about playing this deck on Rorschach, to be honest with you. We'll play a few games and see how it plays out. Um, I haven't worked out yet if this is going to be a great deck for Rorschach. I could see it definitely being an issue because of things like, like it takes so long for you to tech switch into your War Factory out of your barracks and so on. Alright, so if we can get Marauders on his Harvester, it would be pretty easy to kill it. It actually looks like you're going to kill his Harvester pretty easily anyway. Alright, nice. Um, I guess we'll make Juggy to support the Marauders. Since that's the aim of the deck, is to have Marauder surrounded by Chuggy. Oh, sorry. Uh, Chuggy surrounded by Marauders, even. All right, laser drones are actually quite good against us. Hit them out with a stealth tank. Pretty easy first missile. Ah, chemical warriors also quite good against our deck. The marauders easily kill the harvester. They kill it insanely quickly. We need another chem buggy. We're gonna let this weak Marauder squad die. I'm gonna make stealth tanks to kill off these laser drones. Pretty much completely dominating this game. Just have all the pads. Really, very little he can do about it. All right, that went pretty well. The deck didn't feel amazing for the map. Um, they're a little weak early game. Because it takes so long for you to tech switch, you need to get both your buildings up and running before the deck becomes quite strong. I'm a little worried about it, honestly. I think maybe we should try militants. Alright, so we've got a dog opening. I think with this deck we want to stall the missile. I think the deck gets stronger the longer the game goes on. Once you can set up with the expensive units, I think the deck is a lot stronger. Here comes some rifle. Put the wheels on them. Can I get some marauders? Unit 
APC, okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Wow, the APC is actually kind of wrecking the Marauders. I'm still surprised by that. I thought the Marauders would win it easily against an APC. I think maybe the squad was damaged going in. Gonna make a stealth tank because air is the scariest thing. Right. Looks like this game's over. This deck is a little weak early game, honestly. Laser squad, ready for anything. Building online. Okay, this is a perfect example. He's just barracks, and it's taking me a long time to tech switch. I need to keep sending in my wheels 1v1 because I can't I can't wait until a 2v1 because he'll harass my harvester. He's playing these banshees very well. We do need to be charging these pads if he's double harvester. Yeah, I feel like this deck is not great for this map, honestly. So I feel like we're going to play Militants instead of Wheels to give us a slightly better early game. I think Wheels wheels are a better unit than Militants, but I want my early game to not be so weak to someone just walking lasers at me, so... I'm going to try it out. Building online. You 
<laughs> Guys, look, Yasser is back. I don't know who Yasser is, but he's back. I felt like double half was pretty likely. With Liang, it's always like double harvest or MG normally. I want to wait for my chem buggy. I bet he's Talon Orca as well. Like I bet, bet you almost any amount that he's all. Yep, there's there's the Orca. I bet he has a Talon in his deck. Or maybe not Talon, but he's definitely double harvest Orca player. This is like the default thing now. I don't know why. It's become really popular in double harvester playing Orca. Where are the tech units, man? Shouldn't he have tech by now? We're at like 2 minutes 30. He should have had tech ages ago. I guess Orc is pretty expensive. Yeah, that's why I don't like Orca that much. Like, trying to defend what Orca is. Really expensive. I think this deck is probably not the best deck for this event. I think perhaps a Giga deck might be better. Establishing battlefield control. Kind of want to play Kems and Jade, but I feel like that deck is just a little weak to a regular deck. Zaku deck. I don't think this Zaku deck is likely to be the best for this event. I don't think the drones and Orca really give you that much. Because the pads are so close together, like, air just isn't... Having air units just doesn't seem that, that powerful. I think the split of the... I think the split of the harvester and the pads makes it... a. Yeah, it makes it probably better for Nod. Because there's two areas you want to fight in, and it's near the Harvester and near the pads. Two chem buggies? Holy crap, man. One absolute nutter. This hasn't made, it's got, he's made lasers, right? So he does have infantry in his deck. It does seem weak to Marauder, though. Wow. Another Ken buggy, holy crap.
Yeah, he seems really weak to Marauder. We'll have to take a look at what that guy was playing. Objective that was a weird game. Double half or MG. Playing Solomon, I expect double harvester. It's the MG. Pulled it. Well said, Chris. Well, well, well recognized. That looks very weak to chemical buggy. Yep, Orca, obviously. Everyone plays Orca now, man, it's crazy. I don't really care. I like it's too much. Defending my harvester is too much work. Um, honestly, against the units he has, like against an orca, defending my harvester is too hard. I'm just gonna let him have it. I don't really care that much about it. Throwing orcas into my stealth tanks. Again, like the missile's about to fire, so I don't care about the stuff that he's fighting over. I'm just gonna fire the missile. Like both games, there he just had units not fighting for the missile when the missile was firing. Yeah, we're still undefeated, Apoc. I'm not convinced this is a 15-0 deck, though, but we'll see. So this is exactly the reason I put Malignants in the deck, is because I didn't want this kind of thing to happen. Where he can just walk uh, lasers to my Harvester and do a lot of damage.
I think this deck is not very good at responding to Harvester aggression is one of the problems. Like on this map, it's very easy for people to split their forces and send some at your Harvester and some at the pads. And this deck doesn't want to split. This deck wants to fight in one place. I'm putting my Marauder inside my Ken Buggy Cloud because I want this one to die. Yeah, Hizu. This map is good for Avatar because um, it's difficult to charge pads and pressure. Uh, Silver Cruise. This is going to be a difficult match. Good player, and I think his uh, units are going to line up well against mine. Like, Chemical Warriors will be good against the beefy boys. And then Scorpion Tank is good for pressuring my Harvester on its own. Like, he can send in just a Scorpion Tank to pressure my Harvester. Very difficult matchup. Warriors are just really difficult to beat with this deck because you have to use chem buggy. It takes forever to kill them. Warriors are too good, man. Too good against the deck. Oh, 
Yeah, this matchup's too hard for this deck. I don't think this is the right deck for this tournament. Tank doesn't kill drones. Zaka GDI's most versatile deck. I don't believe that's true. Lasers kill drones? No, they don't. Lasers will only kill drones if the lasers are on defense when the drones move in. Drones win on defense, and drones are much faster and more mobile, so I don't think that's a viable strategy. The guy who likes to pop cap, right? That's like his thing. Yep. That was a misclick. That was meant to be wheels. That's really awkward. The thing about pop capping someone is if you pop cap someone, they have a lot of money because they aren't building units. So I don't need a harvester anymore. Because I just have a massive economic advantage because he just hasn't been I hasn't hasn't been forcing me to make units. It's probably an okay artillery map, but all tech units are unplayable, so artillery isn't playable. Avatar is the closest thing to a playable tech unit, and it's still not... You can splash artillery, AK machine, but in a you're not going to get it out in a tight game. Like, if you have a close game, you're going to struggle to get your artillery out. And then you're just going to have a unit less than your opponent. You're just going to be in a five-unit deck. I don't think this is the right deck either. I honestly don't know what you're supposed to play for this event. I'm not sure what's the best on Rorschach. I would have said Avatar or Gigalisk before, but with all the nerfs to those to, to various things, I'm not sure it's that good anymore. I think Gigalisk just isn't very good anymore. Too many people are playing like Stealth Tank, and Stealth Tank is really hard for Gigalisk to deal with. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's 
Avatar with boost is still good. It's not though, because people are playing Orca. If you play an Avatar deck, you're going to be way behind in money. So when the Avatar comes out, your opponent's going to have a float. And they're going to use that float to build like three Orcas and just insta-give your Avatar and then you lose the game. You have to double harvester and then you lose the first missile. And then if your avatar doesn't win you the game, the game is over. You're dead. So if they just make if they just make orcas and kill your avatar. Even if they just make orcas and force your avatar to stick back, like they can just they can just force your avatar to not be able to charge at their harvester, which is what Avatar needs to do. Maybe Borkers. I feel like the map maybe maybe is good for Borker, but again, there's a lot of stealth tanks. This isn't the first time Silver Cruise has beaten me in one of these events as well. Like he owes me like two thousand diamonds now. I don't know, maybe I should try drones or Borker or something. I assume the rewards on this are terrible if you don't 50 no. If you do 50 no, the rewards are infinite because you rebuy your entry. Stop 
establishing battlefield control. Yeah, unfortunately disruptors are still in the tech lab, so they're still unplayable. Again, that's annoying. surprised at how that went down. Silly game. Oh, that was silly. Did I switch deck by accident? It looks like I've accidentally switched deck. I'm not sure how that happened. Let's drain the machine on the move. I'll see to it. 
You need four explosions pro donkey you need catalyst missile to hit the base and then you also need two clouds from chem troopers and a chem trooper itself and an additional cloud somewhere You might be on SRPSS's deck. I think Chem Warrior version is favoured for sure in this matchup. Yeah man, crack on. Nice stealth tank. Oh you want a base trade? Alright, I'm down. I win. One battle left. And if I win this, Silver Cruise owes me a thousand diamonds. Two thousand, actually, because he did the last time we did one of these events as well. Poppycat sniped in Yukin. Correct. Can you confirm deny, Copycat? They're playing right now. I like Copycat and Nukin. I can't really root for either of them. Does anyone know what record they're playing at? Nukin won. Get good, Copycat. What are you doing? 
What record were you guys at? Second loss. What about him? I really hope this guy's Ken Buggy. Ah, oh, sad. Oh, bliss. 14 1, sad. Silver Cruise owes me many diamonds. Enemy base destroyed. Oh, okay, well, pretty reasonable rewards for a free run. I guess uh, we have to look at what the, the, the rerun cost is. I hear it's 600 diamonds. 